2022 A-Liner Ranger 10. I'll give you a walkthrough of the inside. This was a bed, bench seat, and I would never use it as a bed. It's way too small for anybody to lay on. So I converted it into a basically a seat. I made this shelving unit with just wood from big box store and the tabletop. This used to be the table that comes with the camper. I cut it down and mounted a shelf and a drawer so I can keep utensils in there. Then underneath here I have dry storage and the whole thing is just sitting there freestanding. I can pick it up and convert this whole area back into a bed if I need to. I just use it as a bench seat currently. It has the shade here for the bubble window and it has the obligatory fantastic fan. Keurig. That's the only way to go when camping. Trust me. Keurig. Two burner stove. Got a propane stove. These dolls are super, super sensitive. Turn it just a little bit and it makes a huge difference in the flame. It doesn't have an auto lighter though. You have to use like a fireplace match or one of those big long lighters to light it. And then we have hot and cold running water. I don't use the water heater. I don't have it turned on. Air conditioner comes with a remote. It's a window unit style. It has a cover that you have to remember to take off. There's a window here, window in the door. Another bubble window with the shade that slides up. It's got an indoor inside light. And this is a dinette slash bed. I decided I was never going to use the dinette, so I took it out, put the slats in, left them in permanently, and I cut the table down to, to make my countertop. And this is a, a mattress I got, like an actual real mattress instead of the cushions that come with the, the camper. Underneath is storage and refrigerator. Electrical outlet there, electrical outlet there. And there's one over here by the coffee pot. There's also USB 12 volt. There's 12 volt by the coffee pot. And so there's a 12 volt outlet here for cigarette style, cigarette lighter style. And then there's USB 12 volt here for charging phones, things like that. It on it, you can put your feet on it. Inside, I use it for storage, towels, things like that. Refrigerator fits under there. This is the Alpi Cool 20 quart. It just stays under there. And under here is my pantry I basically just keep all the food in a plastic storage bin and I take it out you know when I bring the camper home and under here is more storage these were originally these things these little plastic tubs there were three that slid in here but they wouldn't stay they kept falling and all the stuff would fall out and roll everywhere so I just got these plastic storage deals this is where I put the fire extinguisher down here when I'm traveling. I can just lay it down here and shut the door. And this door doesn't lock. It just, uh, the latch fell off. <laughs> I just leave it like that. Because when I'm traveling, I usually have a bunch of junk right here in the floor anyway, so it stays shut. And then in here is the under sink storage. I keep cleaning supplies and garbage bags, things like that in there. Here's the furnace once again.
Then in here, I have a plastic jug for just water, transporting water, uh, gray water. Garbage can. I like this garbage can because it's small and it fits in here. Has a latching lid. This drawer organizers is where the refrigerator used to go. I have pots, pans, and here typical household stuff. And then over here is my radiator. This is an electric oil filled radiator. I think it's 500 watts and it works really well in this camper. It'll keep the camper nice and warm. Like I said, I don't try to use the furnace and everything just kind of fits fits in there these are the switches for your water heater your water pump if you aren't hooked up to power or shore shore water you can use a water pump it's got an 11 gallon water tank that's over under that side of the bed that's where the electronics are to the circuit breaker and inverter so under here is where the water heater is. If you ever need to get to it, you just lift this up. This is freestanding. Just pick it up. Lift this panel up. And there's your water heater. There's storage under here. And under here, I just keep stuff I never use. I've got like an electric blanket, a pair of tennis shoes. I've got a camp stove. I've got just random stuff that you might need someday. But I don't use day to day. And under here, the storage. I've got a fan, I've got a porta potty up under there. Maybe a tackle box or something. This is the air intake for the air conditioner. A little cargo net I mounted for keys and right now I have a carbon monoxide alarm in there. Even though the unit has one, I have a separate one. This is kind of ridiculous. This is a entry light. I don't know why anybody would ever need it or why they put it there you know it's obviously missing is the fire extinguisher I don't know why they would put the fire extinguisher right here in the middle of the doorway where people are trying to enter and exit I understand the logic but it's just ridiculous and it's in a stupid space it's in a stupid place so I took it out I just set it over here on the counter so it's there whenever I need it Under here is storage this is where I keep the gray water hoses and the electrical and it closes and locks outside of the air conditioner it's the outside light which no one ever uses a couple of power outlets I use this little solar motion light when I come and go at night battery two propane tanks this is your water heater outdoor shower it's got two knobs hot and cold knob and then shower hose that connects gray water tank outlet for the furnace CD water connection power connection tank water tank you can fill the tank if you're going off grid got the ball leveler Right on the back, I've got a little backup camera mounted to the license plate, spare tire. And this is my big gray water tank. I'm not anywhere near a dump station or a sewer connection, so I use a smaller tank over there. When it gets full, I transfer it to this bigger tank. And then when I go to leave, I can go by the dump station and dump it out. There's a connection for the utilities, garbage can. This garbage can I actually use for charcoal and wood. And if I had any really funky, nasty garbage I didn't want to be inside, I didn't want to have inside, I could put it in here overnight. Bungee cord down the lid so raccoons can't get in it. I use this box here for fresh water hoses and connections. And this is for gray water. I have my camp chairs. 
So this is where the this is where the refrigerator normally would be. These particular models come with refrigerators. That's a two-way refrigerator, but this particular unit didn't have one. I didn't even realize it, and so I never expected to have one. And I bought the little Alpicool 20 quart quart you see down there. A couple weeks later, the dealership called me and said, "Hey, this sounds like a weird question, but..." Does your trailer have a refrigerator in it? And I said, no. Didn't come in one. And they're like, oh, that explains it. What do you mean? And they said, we have an extra refrigerator. It was supposed to go in your trailer, and it never got installed. Do you want it? And I said, you know what? It didn't come with one as far as I'm concerned. I don't need it. There's nothing I could do with it. I like my little Alpi Cool one. I have a perfect spot for it to live. I'm good. You're like, okay, <laughs> that was that. But at least they were honest about it.